Spicy MedTech here. So, ito na po yung continuation natin sa ating series on different must-knows and recalls for the MedTech board exam. And in this episode, we will be tackling hematology. Let's begin. Number one, which cell inclusion and RBC abnormality are consistent with G6PD deficiency? A. Howell Jolly Bodies and Acanthocytes B. Cabot Rings and Echinocytes C. Heinz Bodies and Bite Cells or D. Pappenheimer Bodies and Siderocytes So, ang answer po natin dito sa number 1 ay letter C. Heinz Bodies is to Bite Cells. So, kapag kinulangan yung RBCs natin ng G6PD, tapos mataas din yung oxidant levels natin, magkakaroon ng cross-linking ng sulfhydryl group sa globin chains, causing denaturation of hemoglobin and ultimately forming Heinz bodies. Nagkakaroon naman po ng bite cells because yung spleen po natin nire-remove yung denatured hemoglobin via the macrophages. Number two, what is the term for the removal of worn out or damaged red cells from the circulation? A. Lysing B. Culling C. Pitting or D. Splicing So, ang answer po natin dito sa number 2 ay letter B. Culling So, letter A. Lysing is ang disintegration ng isang cell by the rupture of its cell wall or cell membrane. Ang letter C naman, which is ang pitting, is the removal of cytoplasmic inclusions. Letter D, splicing, delves deeper into the modification of RNA. And letter B, culling, by definition, is the removal of senescent erythrocytes from the circulation. Fibrinogen is an important factor in hemostasis and is produced by the liver. Fibrinogen is A, an A, enzyme, B, lipid, C, hormone, or D, glycoprotein. So, ang answer po natin dito sa number 3 ay letter D, glycoprotein. Though it is true that the liver may have different enzymes like ALT and AST, Fibrinogen is not one of them. Fibrinogen is also not a lipid, although the liver may play an important role in lipid metabolism. Fibrinogen is also not a hormone. Hormones are mostly produced by glands, but the liver does synthesize important hormones like angiotensinogen. Fibrinogen is a glycoprotein because by definition, a glycoprotein is any protein with carbohydrate groups attached to the polypeptide chain, and fibrinogen structure does coincide with this definition. Number 4. Which of the following is considered the best site for bone marrow aspiration? A. Posterior iliac crest B. Anterior iliac crest C. Femur D. Radial bones so, ang answer po natin dito sa number 4 ay letter A, posterior iliac crest. So, the reason behind this is that the highest concentrations of bone marrow can be found in flat bones. Flat bones like the sternum and the iliac crest are the most preferred sites for bone marrow aspiration. We choose the posterior iliac crest because it is less invasive than both the sternum and the anterior iliac crest and at the same time giving the highest concentrations of bone marrow per aspiration. Number 5. Direct intravascular coagulation is commonly associated with which AML according to the FAB system? A. M5 B. M4 C. M3 or D. M7 so, ang answer po natin dito sa number 5 ay letter C, M3. M3 is also called acute promyelocytic leukemia. So, the clinical feature of M3 has always been DIC or direct intravascular coagulation. This is due to the fact that APL cells express tissue factor, 
cancer procoagulants and microparticles that initiate the coagulation cascade. Letter A and B, M5 and M4, their clinical features are tissue infiltrates and central nervous system involvement. The clinical feature for letter D, M7, is myelosclerosis. So the answer for number 5 is letter C, M3, or acute promyelocytic leukemia. Number 6. Which of the following is not measured by the sign met hemoglobin method? A. Oxyhemoglobin B. Carboxyhemoglobin C. Sulfhemoglobin or D. All of the above So answer po natin dito sa number 6 ay letter C. Sulfhemoglobin So the cyan met hemoglobin method implores the use of the Drabkin's reagent which contains potassium ferrocyanide and potassium cyanide. Potassium ferrocyanide oxidizes the iron in heme to the ferric state to form methemoglobin, which is converted to hemoglobin cyanide by potassium cyanide. The only hemoglobin derivative that is not converted to hemoglobin cyanide is sulfhemoglobin and is therefore unmeasurable by this method. Number 7. Which of the following best describes the APT test? A. Differentiate fetal and maternal blood. Letter B. Measures capillary fragility. C. Measures hemostatic ability. Or D. All of the above. So, answer po natin dito sa number 7 ay letter A. Differentiate fetal and maternal blood. So, ang ating app test, also known as the alkali denaturation test, differentiates fetal and maternal blood by revolving around the principle that fetal hemoglobin is more resistant to alkali denaturation than adult hemoglobin. Letter B, capillary fragility is measured through the tourniquet test, also known as the Rumpelied method. This is the screen for thrombocytopenia. Letter C, Hemostatic ability is measured through the coagulation studies such as prothrombin time and APTT. Number 8. Which of the following is a rare autosomal recessive bleeding disorder characterized by deficiency in the glycoprotein GP1B? A. Gray platelet syndrome. B. May-Heglin anomaly. C. Wiscott-Aldrich syndrome. Or D. bernard soulier syndrome. So, ang answer po natin dito sa number 8 ay letter D, Bernard Soulier Syndrome. So, letter A, Gray Platelet Syndrome, is also a rare autosomal recessive bleeding disorder but is characterized by the absence or reduced number of alpha granules in your platelets. Letter B, May Heglin Anomaly, is a dominant autosomal bleeding disorder characterized by giant platelets and granulocytes having inclusions that may look like Dale bodies. Letter C, Wiskott-Aldrich syndrome is a rare X-linked recessive bleeding disorder characterized by immunodeficiency, eczema, and thrombocytopenia. So the answer is letter D, bernard soulier syndrome, which is a bleeding disorder characterized by deficiency in the glycoprotein GP1B. Number 9. All the following are supravital dyes except A. Bullion Crestle Blue, B. New Methylene Blue, C. Bromo Crestle Green, or D. None of the above. So, answer po natin dito sa number 9 ay letter D. None of the above. So, supravital staining is a method used in microscopy to examine living cells that have been removed from an organism. So letter A, B, and C, brilliant crystal blue, new methylene blue, and bromocrystal green are all supravital dyes used in supravital staining. So the answer is letter D, none of the above. Number 10, the correct maturation order of erythrocyte morphologic stages is letter A, prorubricite, rubricite, rubriblast, Metarubricite. Letter B, rubriblast, prorubricite, rubricite, metarubricite. Letter C, rubriblast, metarubricite, rubricite, prorubricite. 
letter D, Rubri Blast, Rubri Sight, Pro Rubri Sight, or Meta Rubri Sight. So the correct answer for number 10 is letter B, Rubri Blast, Pro Rubri Sight, Rubri Sight, Meta Rubri Sight. Other terminologies for this series is proerythroblast, basophilic erythroblast, polychromatophilic erythroblast, orthochromatophilic erythroblast, reticulocyte, and finally erythrocyte or mature red blood cell. So yan lang po muna for hematology. I will be making a second part due to your request to accommodate more questions but I will be prioritizing ISBB for the meantime. So for now, please like and subscribe and share the video with your friends who are about to take the board exam. To stay updated, hit the bell icon para updated po kayo sa lahat ng uploads ko. Leave a comment down below sa mga topic na gusto niyong makover dito sa channel. I guess that would be all. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned and enjoyed.